Are you looking for the best hammer drills in your budget? Well, in today's video, we break down the top five best hammer drills that are available on the market. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, quality, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. At number 5, Anikro 11 for inch SDS plus 13 amper heavy duty rotary hammer drill. If you need a heavy duty drill to bore through concrete, stone, metal, or wood, or chip away concrete or other masonry, then you'll love the power of this 13 amp corded rotary hammer drill from Anikro. This beast can drill holes up to 1 1 for inch diameter in concrete thanks to its powerful industrial motor. It has four modes drill only for boring into wood or metal. Hammer drill for making holes in concrete, bricks, or stone. Hammer only for light demo work on concrete and masonry. And chisel for chipping away or scoring concrete, stone, and masonry. The tool has a safety clutch to prevent it from jerking your wrist should the bit become bound and anti-vibration technology to help reduce fatigue and strain on your hands and arms. This rotary drill does not have variable speed. There's a one speed setting with a maximum of 820 revolutions per minute. The maximum impact when using the hammer modes is 4200 BPM. And as befits a tool with this much power, this is a large and heavy drill. It's almost 15.5 inches long and 10 inches tall, and it weighs 12.6 pounds. So you'll want to take frequent breaks while using it. Note that, like other rotary hammer drills, the chuck is SDS. You can only use SDS plus bits with this tool. However, it comes with three twist drill bits of varying sizes and two chiseling bits one pointed and one flat. It also includes a plastic carrying storage case for the drill and its accessories. At number four, Black Plus Decker Hammer Drill. It's undeniable that hammer drills can be quite expensive, but if you don't need all the bells and whistles, nor do you need the utmost power, then this reasonably priced option from Black Plus Decker is worth a look. It has two modes, drill only or hammer drill. There's a variable speed trigger a nice plus on such an inexpensive drill with a maximum speed of 2800 revolutions per minute. The maximum impact is an impressive 48,000 BPM. Adjusting the settings is a straightforward process with only a few options, making it easy to understand and modify. At 6.5 amps, this doesn't have the most powerful motor, nor is it designed for heavy duty continuous use. But if you need a hammer drill for a few projects drilling into masonry, or you want to have a hammer drill on hand for occasional use, then this corded tool should be more than sufficient. The 1-12 inch chuck is keyless, meaning you don't need any tools to swap out bits. Note that the drill does not come with bits, so you will need to purchase those separately. The side handle can be set to three different positions for extra control, and at only 4.1 pounds, this shouldn't tire you out too quickly. Black Plus Decker recommends the drill for holes no larger than 1-12 inch diameter in masonry or steel or 1-1-12 inch in softwood. At number 3, Craftsman V20 Cordless Hammer Drill. Don't spend a lot on a hammer drill for around the house DIY projects such as drilling through tile or occasionally drilling through concrete. We found the Craftsman V20 Hammer Drill both efficient and affordable. First, this is not a heavy duty hammer drill like the one that took the top spot in our lineup but it's powerful enough for many DIY uses. We charge both of the two. Zero hour batteries that came with the drill, although some retailers sell this drill with one. Three hour batteries and started testing by drilling through the ceramic tile with a masonry bit. We could make clean holes without chipping or cracking on both the high and low speeds. We were able to switch between drill only and hammer drill modes. We then switched to drilling holes in concrete and cinder brick. The Craftsman hammer drill tended to bog down slightly if we used too much pushing pressure when drilling through concrete. That could be related to both its brushed motor brushed motors aren't quite as powerful as brushless motors or it could be associated with its low capacity batteries. Craftsman tool users with higher capacity batteries may want to use them in this drill. At number 2, Metaba HPT 36V Multivolt Cordless Hammer Drill. Metaba HPT, not to be confused with tools from the German manufacturer Metaba, has created a powerful hammer drill well suited to outdoor or shop use. After charging the two included two, 
5 hour batteries. We started testing by drilling holes in concrete using a masonry bit. We successfully drilled into the concrete while using moderate pushing force without the drill bogging down. It began to drag a bit if we exerted a lot of pressure. It drilled smooth holes in cinder brick and even cleaner ones in ceramic tile. We partly attributed this to its variable speed trigger that let us start drilling at a very slow speed, which helped keep the tile from chipping. The Metaba HTP hammer drill offers two speeds. Users can choose between standard drilling and hammer drilling. Although this is a reasonably lightweight hammer drill at just 4.5 pounds minus the battery, it offers quite a bit of torque and power 2100 revolutions per minute and up to 31500 BPM. In addition, we found the Metaba HPT vibrated less on hammer drill mode than some of the other standard models we tested, making it easier to use for prolonged periods. At number one, Bosch PS31 Tour 12V Max. If the Dual DCD 701 F2 is overpriced or unavailable, we also like the Bosch PS31 Tour 12V Max 3 8 in drill driver kit. In our tests, this 12 volt Bosch couldn't drill as many one inch holes on a single charge as our top pick but it still has more than enough power for general home tasks. In our own measurements, we found it to be about five ounces lighter than the Dual DCD 701 F2, but it feels heavier because the balance isn't as nice. The Bosch battery slides up into the handle, making the grip fatter and not as contoured as the Dual's. Also, the lead doesn't illuminate as well. Even with these drawbacks, we've been using and recommending this drill for years, and we've seen firsthand a long track record of reliability. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and check out the description for links to updated pricing for products mentioned in the video. Until next time.